So the story starts with uh, Alter Eco uh, Fairtrade Chocolate, a company I had founded in 1998. We wanted to offset uh, this, uh, I mean, all the products, uh, and we wanted to do it in an integrated way, yet we had no clue. We wanted to plant within our supply chain, so uh, this is how we came up with the term insetting. And Francisco Alegria Ruiz in Peru is one of the 2000 cocoa farmers of uh, Acopagro Cooperative. He had the answer, and together we started to plant trees within the cocoa field and around. To, uh, to help his community and at the same time to offset uh, the Alter Eco products. This is a situation that Francisco was facing when he was a coca farmer before producing uh, cocoa. He faced severe land degradation issues like erosion, lack of organic matter in the soil, lack of revenues, lack of biodiversity to pollinate, for example, uh, his fruitful species, and lack of revenues. And this is a vision that we shared with Francisco and his fellow farmers to bring back the trees, agroforestry, as you, as you, as you all know it, and to have multiple impacts on soil, on water, on, on biodiversity, and on farmers' revenues, on, fa on farmers' patrimony as well. In setting via agroforestry at landscape level means not only planting within the, uh, the fields, but as well around in the whole watershed of the supply chain to benefit the farmers, the planet, and the company which, uh, which commits. We, we, we target slopes, hotspots, uh, biodiversity hotspots, and as well we plant along the river stream to preserve water resources. And the benefits of insetting via agroforestry are really multiple and exponential for the corporate, for the planet, and the farmers. A uh, one-time investment of 6,000 euro per hectare can generate up to 20,000 euro of ecosystem and economic services per hectare per year. This is world soil degradation today, so this is our roadmap. More than 2 billion uh, hectares of land to regenerate, thanks to, for example, insetting via agroforestry. And this is why I founded Pure Projet in 2008, to, uh, to answer this stake at large, scale, at large scale level. Today, in eight years, we've planted five million trees, so we could be proud, but it's only half a day of deforestation. Every day, 10 million trees are being cut. So our question was how to scale up. And the how to scale up story starts with another chocolate product, this time a Ben & Jerry's ice cream, because they used to buy coconut from that same area, from Francisco and his fellow farmers. Uh, and so they engaged uh, in, the, in the project to, uh, to offset their, their footprint and helped us to go larger scale and, more, and, and longer and, and longer terms, because our forest projects run on 40 years. So Francisco today and his fellow farmers, they have planted more than 3 million trees, only native and diversified species, which bring their shade and regenerate the soil and bring ecosystem and economic services to this farmer and help as well Ben and & Jerry's and Alter Eco to strengthen their supply chain in quality and quantity. The farms are more resilient and the project is fully designed, developed, managed by the farmers themselves. Here you can see some monitoring or some, or some, or some trimming uh, to, uh, to maximize the, the farmers' benefits. These benefits are already directly visible, for example, on the cocoa yields, which increase naturally thanks to richer soil and optimized levels of shade. And as well, the farmers have started to harvest some timber, some fruits, some seeds, and even some honey as we help them to, di to diversify their sources of income, all types of income that, that, uh, that are linked with the forest. Their effort has gone even much, more be much beyond than that. They've, uh, they've succeeded to concession for conservation, more than 400,000 hectares of virgin forest, which is located in the watershed area of all the cocoa fields, and all this to offset the Ben & Jerry's footprint. Now, this project is integrated into an 800,000 hectares model forest project, regenerating what is degraded and conserving what is left, and bringing this project to a, to a regional and even to a national level. And next year, in 2016, normally in March, it will be declared as a biosphere area, as a biosphere reserve by UNESCO, on 2.4 million hectares, generating multiple benefits and valuing both the ar ar archaeological uh, sites that are present there, as well as dynamizing economic activities. 
But when we have such a big uh, land to protect now, we need to scale up again. So we need many more Ben & Jerry's to engage in insetting via agroforestry. Actually, our goal is to help companies to see their interdependence with nature. Uh, looking at their supply chains and looking at how their ecosystem are degraded and how it threatens uh, their uh, supply chain and their business on, on the long run. And they can engage in very long-term and massive projects. We talk about 10 million, trees, 10 million trees program over five years, for example, for Nespresso or Accor, to really help these beauties to stay alive and to get all the benefits for us and future generations. Here it's Francisco with one of the tree he planted and his son and he says what is this tree for well it's for me it's for my family it's for my business and it's for humanity I think it's very well summarized we shall all be more aware of our interdependence with nature we, we are environmentalist to preserve humanity we are not against uh, us we are uh, pre preserving us and we need to, to make insetting via agroforestry more known. We've created the international platform for insetting with many companies, certification bodies and NGOs, and you're all welcome to join this movement to integrate the climate stake more into our core activities, our core business. And what can you do today? You can plant a tree or millions of trees or billions of trees because to offset the world footprint, we should plant 90 billion trees a year. So there is a lot of potential for all of us. Uh, let's all engage in insetting via agroforestry for us for, and, for the, uh, and for the future generations. Thank you very much.